Welcome to the Center of Light Radio with spiritual teacher, intuitive, musician, composer, and best-selling author of The Divine Principle, Anchoring Heaven on Earth, your host, Keith Anthony Blanchard. Welcome to Center of Light Radio, Center of Divine Enfoldment and Reinforcement, <clears throat> Radio for the Soul and the Transformation Station. A very quick announcement before we get down to the interview with Swamji. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I spend pretty much almost all of my time creating things and outputting a lot of information to help one to move into greater degrees of bliss in their life. Well, if you go to centerofrightradio.com, you'll see a subscription form. If you fill that out, I'll be sending out lots of free stuff, not only lots. I made a vow to myself and to spirit the other day that all of my work that I've been doing for all these years, thinking that I have to sell these products, I realized that all of my work does not belong to me. I have no right to afford it. So over a period of time, if you fill out that subscription form, not only get access to all of my works eventually for free, you also have access to my newsletter program. I put lots of time, lots of hours, lots of joy into what I do to hand you tools of empowerment so you can find yourself living in greater degrees of bliss. It's time to get down to Center of Light Radio Business. I am overjoyed by my guest today. His Holiness Bhagwan Sri 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 Viswayogi Viswamji Maharaj is a spiritual humanist who is an embodiment of divine and unconditional love. Universal integration, peace, love, brotherhood, service to needy people, and propagation of human values are some of the goals of Viswamji Viswayogi. The nature of Visvayogi is purity, purity, purity. The creed of Visvayogi is love, love, and divine love. The function of Visvayogi is selfless help to the needy, the sick, the underprivileged, and to every aspirant who tries to attain self-realization through surrender to God. He is verily the gem of the purest ray inhabiting the earth today to unite humanity. Thank you for letting me spend my time and my heart with you. I am very happy to come to Memphis to attend campaign non-violence and uh, United Walk for World Peace. Um, I never forget Memphis. It is from Memphis we have shown the whole world the solution for all problems in the world. That is unity. If we unite, we can solve any problem. If we unite, we can throw away poverty also. If we unite, we can do miracles and we can bring the Lord to the earth also. So, through unity, Unity is the way, is the path to bring peace to the world. Suppose take a family, a house. If the members of the family, they are united, and if there is coordination and cooperation among the members of the family, then the family will be in peaceful condition. We can make the house a home. There is a difference between house and home. House is the structure. When we make it peaceful, then only it becomes a home. So we have to make each and every house a home, Ananda Nilaya, abode of the bliss, abode of happiness, peace. For that, for that, we have to bring peace. To bring peace, we have to unite. So many journalists like you have been asking me, not asking, questioning me, how can you unite? There are so many differences, difference of the language, difference of the religion, difference of the customs, dress, there are so many differences. Suppose take an example, we are very hungry. 
you can take butter bun jam you can take igli you can take rice you can take wheat but food is very important to satisfy the hunger in the same way whatever the religion may, may be whatever the caste may be whatever the nation may be all human beings humanity must be the base so i am very happy to come here and uh, i have succeeded i have succeeded since 2001 i have been coming america united states of america and i am traveling from city to city state to state house to house <laughs> to encourage the children also the youth also so we should not uh, neglect the youth youth uh, the future leaders future doctors future scientists future citizens of the world so we have to put them on the right track they should not go on wrong track and there should not be a question for the society a danger for the society there must be jnana and ananda in their minds peace in their minds so as they can give peace to the world so we have to make them scientists doctors engineers good citizens of the country and good citizens of the world so i am trying my level best to gather to unite all the youth also not only religions not only leaders political social i am meeting governors i am meeting mayors <laughs> i am visiting the um, universities are they responding U- swamji these figures Harvard University. I visited Harvard University in the month of July. I went there. I was very happy. This is the number one university in the world, Harvard University, Boston. So very. They are doing well. There is no. I'm searching, and searching, and researching, researching the religions, each and every religion. I'm researching every you know, university also, youth. But there is nothing wrong in everyone, but but lack of proper understanding between the religions, between the nations, between different kinds of people. Misunder because of the misunderstandings, the conflicts are going on. We have to make them unite. Swamji, since I met you. over a couple of years ago i've always had a fire in me and anyone who knows me will affirm that but since i met you it's like there's a fire that burns in me to a degree sometimes i don't have enough t- hours in a day to do the work that i want to do to do my part to contribute to the world so the fire that that i feel inside i feel that you're the one that sparked that flame and i want to say thank you oh, for your information i want to tell you in every one there is a spark mm-hmm. there is a spark of light there is a spark of divinity spark of lightning spark that spark is divinity that is i i i i everyone telling i am happy i am happy i am happy i am happy everyone telling i i i i that i is the spark only one spark coming from one point to another point positive to negative in the projector it is making the picture on the screen only spark in the same way spark coming from the deepest part of the heart and touching the mind and reflecting it can make anything it can create it can destruct destruction or construction good or bad coming from the mind so positive thoughts negative thoughts positive thoughts leads to good things doing good deeds bad thoughts may do bad things so this year this year i have been for the last 3 years i have been performing severe diksha severe penance severe you can realize it seeing myself the whole body is becoming like this but strong 
powerful. You know the age of this body? The 74? Age, age. 74. No, only 24. <laughs> that, that means we have to make our body strong because it is the instrument. It is our instrument to do anything in this society. Without using body, without using our mind, we can't do anything. We can't move from one place to another place. We can't do anything also. So, it is the instrument given by the Lord to do His work in this world. So, we have to do His work. Our work, my work, should mix and match with His work. Then my work becomes His work. <laughs> then it will be successful. That is the secret. So, mind, very important. That's why, Usually I sing a song. It is in Telugu. I will translate it also. Listen to me carefully, all of you. Dehame Devalayam Hrudayame Daivapitam Dehame Devalayam Hrudayame Daivapitam Panchabhuta mula sammitritam, Panchabhuta mula sammitritam, Panchaprana mula sammohanam, Panchaprana mula sammohanam, Bhubipai nadache devalayam, Bhubipai nadache devalayam, Adbhutamulalo paramadbhutam, Adbhutamulalo paramadbhutam, Dehame devalayam, Hrudayame daivapitam. Can you know the meaning? I will tell. Dehame devalayam, body is the temple of the Lord, church of the Lord, mosque of the Lord. We are calling with different names, but it is the abode of the Lord. Prabhu, God, the universal God. Dehame Devalim, Hrudayame Daivapitam. Heart is the altar, the pedestal of the Lord. Pancha Bhutamula Samisritam. The body is the composition, combination of five elements, the five elements of the earth. Prithvi, Apa, Stejo, Vayu, Rakasa. Soil, water, fire, air, and space. In our body also, these five elements are composed. Pancha Bhutamala Sammishtra, Pancha Pranamala Sammohanam. There are five life forces and five sub-life forces, one main life force, that is eleven. If we enlighten them, if we make them powerful, then we can become a magnet and we can have a magnetic field around ourselves. If anybody enters into the magnetic field, they will be attracted and they will be charged and they will become powerful also. We can charge <laughs> them also. That is secret. So, nine entrances are there in our body. Two, 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 six, seven, eight, nine. Urine passing and motion passing. Nine. The modern mansion having nine entrances. Sapta Thatuvala Sammeran. There are Sapta Thatus. Sapta Thatus is a very important point. Saptadhatus. What are they in our body? Bone. On the bone, inside, inside the bone, bone marrow. On the bone, flesh. On the flesh, skin. Blood. Cerebral fluid coming from the brain and going through every nerve. And sperm. These are seven dhatus. Our body is composed of seven dhatus. Bone, bone marrow, flesh, skin, Blood, cerebral fluid, sperm, or is in woman. These, if you make these seven powerful, healthy, energetic, then the whole body will be in an energetic condition. You know what is the duty of um, bone marrow? Can you tell? Bone marrow, what is the... Uh, produce white blood cells to fight off blood cells. infections. It produces, it generates... Uh, Blood cell. If it loses that power, it is leukemia, blood cancer. Right. So, 
we have to make the bones powerful blood purified and powerful and muscles muscles steel muscles and nervous system also cerebral fluid nervous system so tell 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 the youth to study about his body his body and tell them to study about the society motherland we have to love our mother motherland if you can't love your motherland how can you love the lord hmm. so first begin loving your mother motherland prithvi the mother earth we have to tell them not only going to the office and earning 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 and spending spending you can earn you can spend you can love your wife children no problem but we have to love the society in which we are living he is telling that so god has given this as a gift this is the gift body is the gift life is the gift given by the lord we have to use it properly how many people are using it so every religion i studied every religion very good if we if we go into the deepest part of each and every religion and if we touch the prophet who preached and teached that religion wow <laughs> they realized very good that they preached the they experienced the truth and they told the society about the truth one only one one truth bliss ananda love so i have a few questions since your tour and your theme this year is purifying the earth by healing the water I have questions I would last, like to ask you in my own way, but I know there are certain things you would not answer as to not get involved, and I understand. And yes, we would like to solve our own problems ourselves. But obviously, we don't really know how to do that. Uh, we would be doing it already. We'd be solving those problems. We're living in an, uh, such an amazing time, and yet it's very confusing to a lot of people. Even someone speaking for myself who claims to be a spiritualist, and knows a lot about a lot but still that's only a fraction of what i don't know um i do lots of research on many matters and i i know this is not about politics because that's not my thing either but it's evident at least or abundant to me that when i look out in the world that we see the doings of other people that is not beneficial to humanity and it's very sometimes confusing to me how can some of these things happen but my first question you swans you would be since we're talking about water because this is your tour water what is going on with fukushima radiation leaking in japan as well as the bp oil spill in the gulf of mexico is fukushima still pouring radiation into pacific ocean and is the bp bp spill still leaking if so what can we do to stop these horrible things from further poisoning our beautiful world very 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 important question you have asked me <laughs> i want the such kind of questions from you generalists intellectuals i have been telling not now i have been telling for the last 25 years we are neglecting and ignoring the nature nature is god itself we should not interfere the nature we should not spoil the nature we should not pollute the nature nature prithvi i told you i have told you few minutes ago also soil water fire air and space five elements are there we are spoiling and we are hiding the nuclear weapons inside the soil inside the ocean and in the space also for what purpose destruction destruction no his advice is not to distract construct use your mind properly flourish love in the deepest part of heart uh, try to flourish enlighten love in each and every heart so what is the use of uh, destroying any nation any person no i will tell one story it is it happened in india valmiki valmiki was there valmiki he is robber he used to kill the persons who are going in the forest and rob one day saptarushi sai person coming he stopped them come on give 
we have nothing now we don't have anything even a single pie come on your face is sir blooming there so you are very satisfied confident so you must have so much of property give otherwise we have hide it in the switch bank come on tell the number i will go and get it no. he did not leave them then they blessed them they going and entering into the person he changed he transformed into you. they told a mantra ram 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 he he forgot about anything past in the past he, focusing on that mantra he became valmiki and he wrote ramayana he became a great poet of the world even in russia they have translated the ramayana into russian language and rama also being performed there that that that, that we have to do jesus christ transformed the persons transformed tried his level best to transform we have to transform the evil persons also they are not bad but some circumstances some surroundings some false teachings and preachings may be spoil them like that they made them like that so through good preachings and teachings we can change them you under, i think you have understand oh, you have understand so new so we should we should not spoil the ocean ocean is the main source which gives water to the whole earth you understand my point yes. so we should not spoil so i mm, don't agree to that i condemn the spoiling of the panchabhutas water soil space also space also we are spoiling in the space also we are hiding no the scientists knows intellectuals knows the leaders of the countries know about it they are hiding in the space ships for what purpose for destruction no no day before yesterday also i told have conferences have conferences calling all the religious leaders all the educationalists all the intellectuals and think for the solution of the problems in the world so don't pollute nuclear why are we are wasting a lot of money on this nuclear weapons and etc etc if we collect that money and if we use for the people of the society people of the world we can throw away the poverty also am i correct or not you think going into the house and sitting in the master bedroom silently open heart you think about it oh so swan so the question i posed to you about fukushima i understand that we are meditation visualization putting everything that is out of balance in our world in light and offering it up i understand that but practically living on the earth people who might eat fish who or catching that fish from the pacific ocean and this marine life is being poisoned with this radiation is it enough yes, yes. to bless our food and will that e- eliminate the poisons that we might ingest in our bodies from the radiation or for example the next question i have would be like um, what's going on with the water in flint michigan it's polluted that, that, that is very um, important question nobody is thinking about it no intellectual is questioning the leaders of the world also the, the nuclear energy which is uh, going there it is going into the fish and the people who eat that fish um, just like the radiation from the um, x ray unit or anything it will spoil it will spoil the bones tapta dhatus also i have told bone bone marrow skin blood every organ of the body also it will be spoiled so no 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 not only that it spreads in the air it enters and goes in the air and it will spoil so many people when we breathe 
So what is threatening? Every, every, uh, some countries are threatening. I will smash you. I will smash this country. I will smash that country. Why? For what purpose? No smashing. If anybody says, I will make a person who dies, I will make him to rebirth, give rebirth, then I will be happy. If a person comes and tell, I will cure the dreadful disease like cancer, I will be very happy. Not destruction. Not destruction. Is there a certain formula, a certain prayer, a certain way we can carry ourselves that will help us to eliminate problems like Fukushima, the water in Flint, Michigan, the Gulf of Mexico that has an oil leak, um, just so tons of problems that, with the water. That, that, well, I came to know that one ship was wrecked and the oil, the oil was uh, like uh, foam. It spread the, um, all the ocean, all the waters of the ocean, the whole water. Oh, dreadful. So we should be very careful. Like, is there something that we can do? So you you are asking me the, the, the eating through eating the fish, we are getting diseases like cancer or etc uh, etc. Et uh, how to stop? How to stop means <laughs> question question the leaders of the world countries not to do like that. We don't want any destruction. Yeah. We want only peace. There is no argument or struggle to do business with different countries and different reli uh, nations and different religions. There is no difference of religion or nation doing business. Why? There is a, um, differences to make the world abode of the peace. No pollution. We should not pollute. We have no right to pollute. We have no, nobody has right to pollute the five elements of the earth. That's why we're having the problem with the water, because our element even, of water... Even, even the United Nations of Organization declare the same thing. Don't pollute the nature. Don't pollute the minds of the children. Mm. But the pitiable thing, another thing is, in some countries, the people are also being... Uh, they have made uh, laboratory, laboratory for the diseases. What is the pitiable thing? It is not a good thing. Anjana, would you ask Swamji if the reason we are having difficulty with our water table on the earth is because one of the five elements of our own cells, which would be the water element, is out of balance. Would that be correct? So, the ocean, take ocean, water in the ocean, it is going into the earth and it is becoming the just like the rivers on the earth. Inside also, there are rivers. There are there is water inside also. So it is also um, polluted. The whole water, not only water in the ocean, inside the water also. But sometimes when it filters, it will be purified. The nature, nature itself purifying the water. We are polluting, nature purifying. In our body also, although we take the poisonous water or anything, it filters. There is, there is a scientific method in the nature itself created like that. So, we will be safe. No, nothing to worry. Yes. That's a uh, good question, good question. So, we are having water in our body. Not only water, rasa, rasa, so many fluids are there in our body also. Three-fourths water in our body. In the, uh, on the earth also, three-fourths water, one-fourth uh, one soil. So, if there is a, how to purify the body, how to purify the uh, polluted things, if we take the polluted, poisonous thing, okay, is there any way to purify it? Yes, yoga. 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 Through yoga. Yoga is not religious one. It, not, it does not belong to any particular, if anybody says, it is our, 
it if any religion tells it is our yoga no it is the universal yoga it is the, the all the people on the earth have the right to practice it to make his body and mind powerful and it filters it filters suppose if we do yoga yoga means focusing our mind on a particular thing jesus christ also did the same thing he, he focused on the prabhu on the lord on the lord means on the nature and he saw the differences in the churches then he condemned and he wanted to purify it also buddha also like that every religious leader also if something um, pollution of religion or pollution of anything happens they want to take it off the pollution and to rectify the faults of the society so yoga focus for five minutes early in the morning if you can focus on your son also you can focus on your wife also you can focus on any uh, ideal ideal also five minutes then your body will become mind will become powerful suppose take a karate person karate if the karate person with his fingers he is cutting the ice bar also forehead also he is cutting splitting the ice bar how can it be possible ordinary people have the uh, if he hit the ice bar he will break the hand It's making the mind powerful and the power go 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 make the hand powerful make the mind powerful he is thinking like that and the power is going it is a scientific process is there and it is making the hand powerful then if he hits with the hand it will be it is happening in the same way will 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 i have i have been telling will power is the greatest power in the society in the world will power increase the will power in, through focus you can increase the will power if you increase the will power you can do anything hmm. that is the process to purify the waters or any pollution coming to enter into our body system of the body swanji there is another spiritualist in the world right now his name is sadguru he has a campaign right now called rally for rivers which parallels with your work and your tour about water my mind my heart goes to a place in time last year called standing rock in the dakotas where the money machine wants to put a pipeline an oil pipeline through their land and they were standing up and they were willing to die for their water in such a situation do we stand up be it metaphorically or literally and to defend our home or do we honestly step back and surrender or is it a little bit of both i don't want to um, say about the particular thing but anything anything if it harms if it harms the society the people so we have to condemn we have to condemn and we have to protect that's not wrong that is the right that is the uh, i don't want to go into the politics or political uh, um, politics uh, <laughs> uh, i i want to go straight spiritual and straight only even if there is any evil thing also i want to make it good that there is nothing wrong when we protest and when we, we have to condemn we have to condemn not to pollute not to pollute why oil you, you are telling about the oil i i want to ask you intellectuals about one question through leaves of the plants trees through roots of the plants we can create gasoline petrol think about it through nature not uh, uh, through any digging into the ocean or anything come on plant hundreds and thousands of acres of the land plants through plants through the seeds also 
But you can create a gasoline, petrol, oil, diesel. There is a process. If we think, if we make the mind to think, mind can give solution to so many problems. But we are not making the mind to think about the problem. If there is a problem, we have to think about the reason. What is the reason for the problem? Then we have to try to solve the problem. If we can't, we have to get the cooperation and coordination of other intellectuals also. Uniting all the intellectuals, very important intellectuals, we have to try to solve the problem, then the problems are going away. There is no problem. So on our level, we need to contact... But, th but, but there are social, political, financial, religious... Yes. So many reasons are there, so we, we should not be hasty. We should not be. We, we should be um, with self confidence. First, we must have self confidence. Self with self confidence, we must be self disciplined. We should not be hasty. Uh, we should not uh, throw away any person who are against our opinion. Also, self confidence, self discipline. Self-control and self-support is best to support. We have to support ourselves and we have to encourage ourselves. At any time we should not be depressed and discouraged. I never discourage at any time. So I want you all also not to discourage. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, we will succeed. We failed now, today. Don't be suppressed. Don't be discouraged. Don't be depressed. Tomorrow or day after tomorrow, we will succeed. <laughs> we have to try sincerely again and again and again until we succeed. We have to take the example of the great spiritual leaders and social leaders of the world. Thank you, Swamiji, for being here today, enlightening me, helping me to alleviate some of the things that move through my mind, but more importantly through my heart. But as I look out and about in the world... I told, I told about you. Don't think about uh, um, that failure, this failure, this failure, what is happening in there, what is happening in that country, or why that people in that country are threatening the whole world. Let them threaten. What is happening? A day will come when any person hits any nuclear weapon to harm our country. If we work with pure heart, we can invent an instrument what that instrument can do, it will throw away that nuclear weapon and hit the person who throw that. The day will come. You understand my... I do. Thank you. So, unitedly, my humble request, my humble request, appeal to you all, to the intellectuals and leaders of the world, to don't create confusion. <laughs> don't create confusion. Don't pollute the nature. Don't pollute the nature. Don't pollute the minds of the people. Don't pollute the minds of the youth, the children. So, try to make them pure. Pure. Mind pure. Water is pure. Nature pure. Clean and green. We are putting clean and green. But, what? We have to put into practice that. We have to practice. I wish you grand success. So, unitedly, we have to make the world abode of the peace. With this universal prayer, I will conclude. Repeat it. You also repeat it. One we are. One we are. We are all one. We are all one. One family. One family. Only one family. Only one family. We are all only one family. Only one family. I, you, he, she. I, you, he, she. This and that and all. This and that and all. We are all universal family. We are all universal family. Whatever the religion may be. Whatever the religion may be. Whatever the race may be. Whatever the race may be. Whatever the nation may be. Whatever the nation may be. Whatever the language may be. Whatever the language may be. We are all human beings. We are all human beings. We are all human family. We are all human family. Let us unite. 
Let us unite. In the name of humanity. In the name of humanity. Let us unite. Let us unite. For peace and prosperity. For peace and prosperity. Let us unite. Let us unite. For ourselves and for all. For ourselves and for all. Let us unite. Let us unite. For our Mother Earth. For our Mother Earth. And the universe. Universe. Unity makes us strong and peaceful. Unity makes us strong and peaceful. Unity brings us bliss and prosperity. Unity brings us bliss and prosperity. If we unite, if we unite, we can make miracles. We can make miracles. If we unite, if we unite, we can throw away poverty. We throw away poverty. If we unite, if we unite, we can make the earth a heaven. We can make the earth a heaven. If we unite, if we unite, we can bring the Lord to the earth. We can bring the Lord to the earth. Unity is our strength. Unity is our strength. Humanity is our life. Humanity is our life. Unity is our strength. Unity is our strength. Humanity is our life. Humanity is our life. Unity is our strength. Humanity is our life. Humanity is our life. I have told that this universal plague. It is the reaction of a little heart. Of the little boy in Seattle, Rishi, that we can, if we make the people, the children, they can enlighten the human values and they can spread our message and meet. So let take the children into your hands. Don't pollute them. Inculcate, enlighten human values in them. Let them love each and every one. Fill the heart with love. Fill the mind with peace and spread love and peace wherever you go. So now some organizations they are giving do or die. No, I don't. Uh, I condemn. Do or die is not a motto. Live and let live. Live and let others live. Smile and let others smile. <laughs> that must be motto of each and every person. And we have to make. But don't think about other planets, other things. But think about the mother planet, the mother Earth, and we have to make it a board of peace. I wish you grand success in your attempt. I was with you, I am with you, and I will be with you. I put you all in my heart, and Swami Vishnu Yogi, what a phenomenal, enlightening time I have. Every time I'm blessed with the opportunity to speak with him. I appreciate you being here at Center of Light Radio, which airs every Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I'd like to say also a very special thank you to T.M. Garrett at Pick Arts Media. You can find him at pickartsmedia.com as well as on Facebook. Uh, just get in a search and look up Pick Arts Media. So thank you again. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I am very happy. Mm -hmm. I am very happy. I 24 hours, no rest. I never tired. Mm -hmm. Only little food. <laughs> and sleep, no sleep. If I go to trance, then only. Yes. Trance is different from sleep. I did have a question I want to ask you. What is it like to be you? What is it like? What does it feel like to be you in your state of reality? I know what it feels like to be me because I've expanded a lot in my growing. But I always, I've always been curious to know what it feels like. I'm sure words probably don't describe it enough. But what is it like to be in Swamji's reality? There is power. There is power all pervading everywhere. <laughs> Just like uh, current. Current is everywhere, according to science also. Current is in the coal, current is in the water, electricity. The current is in each and every atom also. So everywhere current is there. But if I put a bulb taking the coal, is it lightning? It is not giving light. It is not making the bulb to give light. If I put a bulb in the water, it is not giving the light. But there is a scientific process to extract the power, current in that water, in that uh, coal. The scientists know and the scientists, they extract, they store and they bring to our house. Then if we connect to the house, 
we will be able to get the benefits if it comes to the bulb it is giving light if it comes to the fan it is giving air if it comes in the radio it is giving sound if it comes into the tv it is giving sound and view sight in the ac room transforming the changing the atmosphere and you have the awareness yes connection having the connection that is <laughs> yoga yoga means yoga means having connection unity right connection connection with our mind the universal mind with the power which is existing which is omnipotent and omnipresent the current is all, in the all the wires are current is there in the in our house take an example in our house wiring is work is do um, uh, the electricity is doing wiring work and he is putting the inverter what me sockets sockets some there yeah if if we want to have connection we are not touching the wire if we touch the wire it will shock <laughs> so we are putting we are putting connection here with, with a, there is a method with that method we are taking the current same way thank you so if i touch if i take your hand like this You, you you can experience it yourself there is a connection from here to the heart if i want to transmit to the heart i need not touch the heart if the cardiologist wants to do angiogram he is not opening the heart from here he is sending and along with the bulb a um, water bubble and he is sending stent and stent is going there and in the same way that is the transmission sect path that is it was i felt it <laughs> so not only touching even if i look at a person the person the force will be you can experience it it is science it is science it is just like h2o if two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen combines water comes No, don't think about that water this water we can create water ourselves taking two gases oxygen and hydrogen we can create pure water are we trying to that for that the governments no they are polluting the water polluting the soil what is the main reason for the uh, calamity in the texas coastal you understand Yes. Are you asking any why it is happening? We are covering all the we are, all the tanks and we are constructing houses. There is no place for the rain water to come and stay, and the water is uh, coming and flooding the cities and towns. And we are breaking the bank. Uh, the bridges. Hmm. Cutting water tank. Tank bund. tank bond so we are cutting the tank bond water is coming out that is the main reason for host even not only here in india also in every country no the lead, the leaders 
should have not political view, social view, spiritual view to give happiness to each and every person in the country. That's why I, to, I tell all the people, I don't want to tell about politics or politics, only <laughs> spiritual, only spiritual and universal. That's all. Truth, only truth. I have one more question, Swamiji. I do hear you, I'm assuming, I hear you a lot in here. Um, not, not now. First time when you met me, I transmitted the power which is <laughs> existing in the body. You, you experienced it. You know that. You know. Yes. I heard you, I'm assuming it was you. Not only, really. you, you, you all, you're all, you're all. Yes, that's right. My instrument, my means not this body. The power which is existed in Christ, which existed in Buddha, which existed in each and every person, that is one, that is unique. This is a personal question for me. Does this have any meaning? What is the meaning of? Yanava. Hmm? Yanava. I was in a meditation when all of my spiritual awakening started. And this name, Ya Na Va, came through, and I identified it in such a way, it felt like me on a spiritual level. And I want to ask you, it, did it have anything particular in the form of meaning that might be useful for me and my work? Or is it just a name like Keith or Anjana? Just... Uh, you also listen to me carefully. This is... Uh, this is um, mm, the call of the Lord, the awakening of the Lord, awakening of the Lord, to make us an in, yeah, his, to, as, to do his work in this world on the earth. There are three Grandhis, three, three Grandhi. Grandhi means not of nerve. Not until... Nerve center. Nerve center. Nerve center. No center. Three. One in the heart, another in the brain, another in the backbone. Heart, brain, backbone. In the heart, there is will power. Power of will is there. Power of will is in heart. In Sanskrit we call it Ichya Sikti, power of will. Here in the brain, power of knowledge, intelligence is there, power of knowledge, Jnana Sikti, power of knowledge. The backbone, power of action is there, power of action, Kriya Sikti. Ichya Sikti, power of will, Jnana Sikti, power of knowledge or intelligence, Kriya Sikti, power of action. So if we unfold, unfold the nerve centers, unfold, the power is coming like a fountain, like a fountain, the heart, and it touches the brain, it moves nerve, it unfolds the center of nerve center here, and the power of will makes the power of knowledge to enlighten and it going through the backbone it enlightens and unfolds the nervous system of power of action. According to medical science also, brain is giving orders and backbone is doing through nervous system. It is they are telling doctors telling but it is controlled by the heart. That is the one word, ya, na, va, ya, ya, na, va, ha, ya, na, va, ha, ha, ha. There is ha, ha is silent, ha is silent, ha, 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 ha is akashatva space. 
आकाशतत्व या ना वा इट रिप्रेजेंट्स थ्री सेंटर्स इन अवर बॉडी दे आर दे आर हाँ दे आर ब्रह्मा विष्णु महेश्वर विष्णु ब्रह्मा महेश्वर क्रिएशन लॉर्ड द हु विल्स हु गिव्स ज्ञान एंड हु गिव्स द एक्शन थ्री so we have to unite that is that the shakti that is that then this power 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 we have calling by different names that is it is not an illusion or religion it is real it is a call of, um, uh, we receive the voice of the universal lord through that is super कॉन्शियस सुपर कॉन्शियस अनकॉन्शियस कर सुपर कॉन्शियस के केवल दैट इज नॉट अनकॉन्शियस स्टेट और स्लीपिंग स्टेट दैट इज सुपर कॉन्शियस सुपर कॉन्शियस इफ दैट इफ वी मिक्स एंड मैच योर माइंड विद दैट माइंड यूनिवर्सल माइंड वी कांट मिक्स थ्रू गुरु वी आर डूइंग दैट थ्रू गुरु वी कैन डू थ्रू गुरु जस्ट लाइक सेल फोन If you want to call me in India, I, suppose I am in India. <laughs> you are here. You want to call me. You are taking cell phone. Cell phone to my cell phone. There is no direct connection. You are having connection with this company, AT and T or anything. <laughs> there another company we are having. That companies are having connection with the satellite connection. Immediately a uh, connection will be there. If you put the number immediately going, the same thing, <laughs> same thing. If it is correct, it is also correct. I've been waiting for years to find out so what that means. Thank you. This is three powers. Three powers. The Should power I meditate will. on that name? Yes, yes. Will, will. First, will. Will, intellect, it, action. We plan in the according to will. We plan in the brain. then brain asks the backbone to do this and that through the organs of our body hands do one thing legs do another thing <laughs> eyes do one thing seeing he listening talking or eating different kinds of organs do different things through different organs we are doing different things so or there is coming from the and planning is here building is here we will here we plan here we work but are you received did have you received the i'm full <laughs> are you satisfied that is not that is not a dream that is the real fact i'm completely satisfied thank you very much for this beautiful day and that this also yahana va na va ya <laughs> na vaya va na oh that is the beat up sir yep oh, the, the sound that swami made yeah let no, seed letter no, seed letter actually the potent seeds of their beat up sirs are every mantra or powerful saying has a seed and those are the powerful seed sounds those there yes mm-hmm.